Ooh. Hey everybody, it's AJ and Lily. She's Hi guys. our barista. She got all this cool coffee stuff to take to college and we're going to figure out how to use it and teach you how to brew better espresso at home. So, hang out. It's so small. Based on the box size, it seemed like it was a really huge. Right? Hey, we need power for it. Try not to destroy this. Set this over here. All right, we need power. I think we're recording. Oh. <laughs> Which is even better. The steamer? This is a hefty box. Do you know how to... <laughs> uh, it's got tape on it. Oh. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, <clears throat> cutting apparatus and screwdrivers. Who are that? Can you answer the question I texted you? What's up? Are you on YouTube? Oh, you're on YouTube now. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were live. We're I not live. We're going. So that is our fellow grinder. It is a espresso grinder. It's the Opus. The Opus. This is legit. Okay. All right. So this grinder is pretty cool, Lily. Um, you got your grinder. I have this. We can put that away for now. This grinder has a neat little thing where you can grind into this and then you can use this to put it into your quarter filter. So you grind your coffee in here, you go like that, wow. and boom. No mess. No mess. Or at least less mess. Oh, these are shot glasses. Should I wait to open these? Uh, we're actually not going to use those. Okay. Sounds good. I don't know what's going on here. This is an extra port filter. That is the port filter we're going to use. So that is a non-pressurized basket. Okay. And how I was telling you earlier about pressurized and non-pressurized. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to get the most out of your espresso, you have to use... I don't understand how this works. You have to use a non-pressurized basket. I guess it just works like this. I don't know. So this is your porta filter. This is a lot different than our porta filter that we use in the shop. Uh, can you open the basket? So here we have a 18 gram non-pressurized porta filter, I believe. And we're going to do the same shot so we do at the shop. So we're going to do 18 grams. Mm -hmm. And around 32 grams out, probably. So we got that. Um, with an uh, espresso machine at home, it's very important to put water in it and let it warm up for 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to put water in it and then we're going to let it warm up. They may tell you that you can just turn the switch on and pull your shot when the light goes off, but that's not true. Um, it just, uh, espresso is very volatile and you have to warm up all these metal parts. You want to leave this attached to your porta filter, attached to your espresso machine, which you would do like, so you leave it there. Oh my gosh. Don't do that without water in it. Um, yeah, don't hit the power button without water in it. Not good. So anyways, we're going to put some water in it. We're going to let it warm up and then we'll be back. What was that, Lily? What's the real question? <laughs> the real question is if it's reverse osmosis or just your plain old tap water. So, yeah, it's good you mentioned that because water is very important. Um, I recommend you use, if you don't have access to good filtered water, you don't want to use reverse osmosis if you're not adding minerals back in. Oh, mm -hmm. figured out how to open it. So. Uh, if you do use reverse osmosis, you can buy these little packets. They're uh, coffee minerals, basically. Can't remember the name of the company that makes them. But you can get them 
and they will help make better coffee. If you just use distilled water or reverse osmosis water, your coffee is going to taste terrible because there's no minerals for the coffee to stick to. Alright, so I believe we can turn this on now. I don't know what's happening. Alright, I guess it's warming up. So, this is all new to us. We've never messed with this machine. Nope. Now, today we're going to use our Woman's Produced Colombian. It's a great coffee. Uh, many people think you have to use an espresso coffee to brew espresso, and that is completely false. Espresso is a brew method. Oh, oh, dang it, that's some North Dakota. In there. <laughs> um, espresso is a brew method, not a coffee bean or a roast or anything like that. You got all your springs So I got, or Lily got, a tamper. And we don't tamp coffee in the shop because we have a machine that does it. So we're going to learn how to tamp coffee today too. This is a pressurized tamper. Mm -hmm. So you put so much pressure and it'll only take it and it's adjustable. You can back the spring out and it goes less pressure, more pressure. So it has different springs too. That's why it has different springs. That makes sense. I don't know what the springs mean. I just know it's supposed to push it down and it's supposed to equal 30, 30 pounds of pressure I think is what you want to mm -hmm. tamp coffee at. Um, and then we have this uh, puck screen here that is going to go on top of our coffee grinds. It helps distribute the water more evenly and increase extraction which will give you a better cup of coffee. Never use one of these. We don't use them in the shop but why not try it today. Probably terrible. Look at Lily. Just <laughs> what if we were in front of the table? Is that awkward? I don't think so. I just think it'll be much better to have the camera. Okay, so number one most important thing when it comes to coffee is weighing your coffee every day. Whether you're doing espresso or you're just brewing your normal pot of coffee, if you don't weigh it, there's no guarantee that you're putting the same amount of coffee in every day. So we're going to use 18 grams of coffee and we're going to see how it fits in this porta filter. Um, we're going to just Go for it. do 18. I have no idea where to grind setting at. Like we don't know nothing. There we go. So Lily, the... Uh, it's up there. This is the, oh, look at this. Hold on. We get a, uh, oh, they told us nice. where to start. Okay. So we need to be in between one and two. So let's just start at two. We'll start at two. So we'll pour that in. We'll grind. So this is a burr grinder. It's a high quality burr grinder. I use a different version at home. It takes a little while, but it's quiet. It's pretty quiet. Your roommates are probably going to hate it right. or love it. Did we get it yep. all? Yep. All right. So we'll just knock that for a minute. Okay. So coffee's ground, so we'll pull it out of there now. This. Oh, yeah, that's nice and warmed up. So if you can mm -hmm. take that out. Uh, oh. this inner thing? I don't know how. Should just be able to pull. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we'll take this, take the port filter. This is awesome. Put it on top, no boom. No mess. No mess. Now, what we need to do is we need to tamp. And hold this real quick. We'll probably cut this out. <laughs> I would hope so, me holding this. <laughs> You guys ready? <laughs> and then oh. we come back. So I have this espresso tool that I bought. It's called a WDT tool. I don't know why they call it that. But you can use it to kind of 
even out your grounds and make things better. There we go. Now we're going to tamp. So you'll put it along the edge. And we got tamped coffee. The shower screen goes on top, fits right in there. Oh boy. Oh, we need to weigh that actually. Wait. How are we going to do this? Maybe we can weigh this out. Let's see. Alright, let's hit the double button and see what happens. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, look it, we have espresso. We should have set a timer. Oh. You didn't hit the timer button. No. Looks decent. What do you think about that? 20, 1,000, 21, 1,000, 22, 1,000, trying. Good job. Keep going. When's it going to stop? 6, 1,000, 28. Oh, I think we're going to stop it. That was, what, 33 seconds, give or take? Yeah, so that was way too much espresso because mm. it looks like we got 68 grams out. Wow. Let's see what it tastes like. <clears throat> Can you see me? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually drinkable. It is. It's really. It really is. But that would make two drinks. The consistency well, is, is really, is pretty decent. This is actually really good. It wouldn't be like, I mean, technically an espresso ratio is like one to two or one to three. This is like one to four but it's really good hmm. all right it's good yeah i think we're good close stuff. some experimenting so this is just to get the clumps out right yes it's just to get the clumps out okay. and help even everything so here you go lily awesome, awesome. here's your coffee we'll set this aside should we adjust our um the grams there or the um, amount we put in We'll do the same amount, 18.2. Just do 18.2 to account for a little bit of loss or three. Yeah, four. That works. <laughs> four works. Did you move it right now? Let's, um, I think we could actually make this grinder a little bit coarser. Mm -hmm. Just go. There were no grounds in like that espresso. That. I'm pretty impressed. It wasn't too fine, okay. So we'll grind again. All right, so. Check our water out. Good deal. Same thing. Yep. Give it a couple taps. I don't really like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's a lot of <coughs> grounds in here. I wonder if. Do you think it's too full? No, because once we tamp it down, just we'll just kind of try to knock these off the edge. Okay. And then you'll brace that part on the table, and then you'll just push down as hard as you can. No, right. you don't really want to do this on the table because it'll mar it. So you'll grab the like this, outside like this. Oh, I see. Like okay. That. Alrighty. If we had a camera person, that would have been a great shot. All right. I can't do it with it on the stand. So then we'll throw that on there. Lock it into place. <clears throat> and try to do this again. All right, we're just going to hit the one cup button this time, see what happens.
let's do it like this. Ready, go. So this is called the infuser and it's supposed to pre-infuse a little bit before the shot starts, which basically it starts out with low pressure for like four or five seconds, hmm. which is supposed to help with a more even extraction and all that stuff. So that's probably why it takes a little bit for this pressure bar to come up. Mm -hmm. How high should that pressure bar get, do you think? Uh, I think that's where it's supposed to be. Let's see what that weighs, like in and out. So in and out, that was 45 grams, so it's not bad. It's a little bit more, it's about 10 grams more than what we do. This is programmable. We've never programmed it, so let's see. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I like this one a little bit better. It's might, pretty good. Might be personal preference, but. It is. It's actually really good. Other than it's a little weak, but that is from the shot being 45 grams or whatever it was versus mm. 32, 35. That's going to sure. make it weaker. That's actually going to make it really good to drink like just as espresso. Uh -huh. But if you were to add, like it'd be good in a cortado probably. Oh yeah. Billy's going to be jacked up for school. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, guys. That's actually really good. Like, it's a little citrusy. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. We could almost go down one grind setting, back to where we were. Mm -hmm. That would be really good for a Cortana. Mm -hmm. So, all right. We'll do one more, and then we'll make a Cortado. Oh. And... I guess this is going easier than I thought. <laughs> it helps when you buy really good equipment. Like I said before, the grinder is the most important thing when it comes to espresso. This espresso machine is old. It's been used. They're not very expensive. They are like a mid-range espresso machine for at home. But they're nothing without a good quality grinder. So, yeah. We'll see you in a minute. So that was shot time, 35 seconds? Uh, roughly. I think when we pulled it out, it okay. was about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, mm -hmm. that's really good all the way around. I almost don't think we should adjust the grinder. Mm -hmm. um, these are these buttons are programmable. They have a single cup and a double cup, but they're just there. Um, typically, nobody uses single shots of espresso, which would be... A really small basket like this. These are very hard to extract coffee properly from. They have very narrow backings and they just don't work very well. Throw them away. Yeah, don't use them. Um, so these buttons are reference. They are programmable. I have no idea how to program them yet. But before Lily goes off to college, we'll learn all of that. So. We're going to pull this shot right now. Go ahead and start weighing it out. I will go get some milk. Do I have to clean out the the uh, yeah. the mesh thing? At least wipe it. Okay. Yeah, that's what we need to feel. Well, it's on so to adjust your focus is this. It's on focus. Yes. Okay, move over. We have a magnetic um, grinder thingy. Thingy. <laughs> so many terms. Okay. All right. Okay. Take the basket. Hello? <laughs> Anyone home? Gonna break it up maybe a little bit. There we go. Perfect. 
perfect. I think that was a better tamp than the last one. So tamping does make a difference <clears throat> here. And you will see it. So we'll just pull this one. Oh, I was going to get a clean glass. What? Okay. You should get Velcro things for whatever table you're going to put it on. Uh, put it on the bottom. Yeah. Smart. Move it. Yeah. It won't move so much. All right. So we'll pull the single shot button Are again. You weigh it again? Nah. Okay. Well, sure. Why not? All right. Go ahead. Push it whenever you're ready. Oops. Go ahead. So right now it's pre-infusing. There's just a little bit of water coming through and it's soaking all your ground. The shower screen helps distribute that water. And here we go. We're making espresso. Now Lily, when you steam on this one, it's going to steam way different than mm -hmm. you've ever played with before. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot slower. Sure. Which is great in a way. It's kind of like the one that we did the blue ball Oh, this is way it's less powerful. Of... So that's a lot of it espresso. Is a lot of espresso. Yep. 43 grams again. We definitely have to adjust that. This is roughly 42 to 45 seconds. Yeah. The time is definitely not important. So we're just going to dump some of this out. Make a mess. All right. Now we're going to purge it like we would. Just takes a second to warm up. Okay. It's just it's just spring water. Okay. So crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. You got a vortex going on? Yeah. Somewhat. Talk to us, what are you, what are you doing here? Alright, so I kind of have an angle, so there's some air kind of coming into it, and uh, a vortex is going on. I didn't know when to stop. Well, when I feel the, the pitcher is uh, hot enough for my hand, can't really hold it anymore, I'll stop. Or when I see them, and when I see the milk is a good consistency. There's not many bubbles so far, so we're doing pretty That's good. good. It's actually going really well. All right, it's, get, it's getting hotter. All right. Great job. Look at not that. Not too bad. Look at that. Not, that's a, it's pretty, some pretty good steamed milk. That is. The lighting's terrible, but... That's a good Cortado. That's a really good Cortado. That's awesome. It, this side, I mean, looks like there's a little much foam, but... Let me try it. You can even use that milk if you want. That's not too bad. Oh my word. That what? is a really good cortado. Yes. That is so awesome. That this is. is. We would serve this as a coffee drink mm -hmm. for sure. Like, on just a little Breville home espresso and a home grinder. There's also like a hot water pour button to clean out espresso glasses or anything. That's pretty nice. I didn't even see that. So gonna, Maybe like, that's what we should have used to purge. So this right here, where you dump the water, you do have to dump that at the end of the day. Good to know. Start overflowing. Um. Be going. Yeah, go. Cool. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to program your button. Um, and see what happens. That was still too much espresso. It was, it was too long of a shot. It was a, like one to three shot too much. So we're going to try to program the number two button, the double shot, to the proper amount. That way if we screw it up, we still have this one that's 
somewhat right. Sure. Yes. I got it. Oh boy, that is. Look at that puck. See, see how that just came out on its own. That's, nice. That's when you know you got things right. Mm. Nice and clean. I bet you, Trevor, who the espresso machine came from, would be like kind of jealous. <laughs> There's that, okay. We're gonna do a little. So this is just a simple basket. It's made for the Breville style. Um, it is a norm core, 53.3 millimeter. Fits the basket just right. And what it does is it, it helps distribute the water over the coffee. So it hits this basket and then there's a bunch of little holes that it lets the water flow through. I think it's kind of like a push and a twist, I think. All right. All right, so we need a glass. Put that right there. We're gonna zero this out. This might not work. Oh, here, this is touching it, that's why. Is that what it was? Maybe. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. All right, so we're gonna hold the program button down and it's gonna start flashing. I don't know if we can get this perfect. Come on. Let's just send it. So we're pre-infusing. So it, it looks pretty good. And what we'll do is when we hit our 32 to 30 gram mark, of extraction we will hit the button again and that should in theory time this all out now i forgot to hit the timer button so <laughs> yeah. this is too much going on trial and error like we said 20 we're going kind of fast so by hitting it i hit it at like 30 seconds and that ended the shot at 35 grams so that's pretty good our shots in the shop we do 32. Mm -hmm. Turn it backwards, yeah. This, what, this way, what? Yeah, go that way. Oh. Oh, is that it? You don't have a lot of horsepower there. So you can see it swirling in the cup, and that's what you want. Mm hmm That is so awesome. It's not quite hot enough yet. We're getting there. Okay. Your rag. Always wipe your steam wand off. Let's see what we got. That's some really good milk. Yeah, not too bad. See the consistency. Wait, pause. Pause. <laughs> Pull it through. Not too bad. Pretty it's good. a really dark uh, espresso yes, it is. shot, but let's try it. Not bad. I do have to say, this one is not as good as the last Cortana we made. It's not? Yep. Interesting. What did we change again? We changed the amount of water that pulls through. Did you get too bitter? It's just like bleh, like it's bleh, like nothing to it's it. Bland. Like the other one had more like flavor. I don't know. Maybe I got a bunch of milk, I don't know. Maybe you got a bunch of milk. 
Now the milk does have a little too much air, which mm. is why it floats. Sure. Which is fine because we don't know what we're doing with that. I think it's still pretty you good. Should, you should try to steam All and right. see if it's different I'll with try the way steam. you do it and I'll really yep. watch you. Okay. Let's do one Because I feel like I do add a lot of air to it, almost too much. So that totally could be a problem. Okay. We'll add another um, shot. Okay. <laughs> So now it's my turn to try. This one's for you, Trevor. <laughs> so I got 18.4. I am going to adjust the grinders just a little bit. We're going to go a little finer. Grind in. So inside the single level, I need to be internal level, so why make fire or order something different? Do you all do that? Nothing you need to? Oh, yeah, I think it's kind of the whole thing. I'm not really sure. Another thing you could do is kind of do like that. I gotta shake it around. There we go. These are WDT. Doesn't seem like they're supposed to go that way. Oh, wait, no, that is it. Never mind. Oh. That's just the this setting is, with. Yeah. Alright, so we got that. Camp. I heard you so say with, something. With the spring, would that be better because? So the spring is better because it kind of controls how much pressure you put on it. So you don't put too much, so too little. It's uh, more equal between the two of you, even though you yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. It kind of, it's kind of like mm. buck rest. It takes okay. that little, little bit out. Now you don't want to spin it. You mm. just want to push. Okay, I've um, been spinning it, so I don't know if that. Yep, that makes sense. <clears throat> Well, it didn't stop like it was supposed to, so we don't have that quite programmed. Let's see if you add more or less air, or how that goes here. How did you do this? <laughs> it's pretty awkward. Oh, there you go. See, we got that vortex going. Mm -hmm. It's starting to warm up. Yeah, but that was good. still didn't. Uh, oh, it look started at the, out the foam really on the well. side. Looks pretty good. Definitely less foam. Yep. I lost control over there, and it went. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, you taste a little acidicness, but. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. I pretty. think it's better than the last one. Yeah. It's uh, there's more flavor in it. I Definitely. Think it's good. Oh yeah. More acidic. So do you want to explain what you feel for when you're steaming milk on the bottom of the? Oh, uh, we just fill until it's too hot for you to hold on to. Is what we shoot for. That's typically right around the proper temperature. They say you want to steam milk between 140 and 160 degrees, I believe. Maybe it's 150, 160. But um, none of us have ever used a thermometer, so we wouldn't know. Uh, none of us, I, I didn't want to learn with the thermometer because I didn't want a thermometer to be the babysitter of me. And two, um, I wanted to be able to work without it. So we just kind of trial by fire and everybody here has kind of done the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we hold on to the cup some way, the pitcher, 
and when it gets to where you can't hold on to it, that's when it's time to shut off, and that's the way we were taught. Works fairly well for us, and uh, yeah. So if you ever want, come by the shop. We can talk about things to make your home espresso better. We the the grinder, the basket, the shower screen, um, the tamper. All that was under two hundred and fifty dollars, and um, that'll pretty much pay for itself at some point. If you have an espresso machine at home already, some of them have a grinder on them. They probably work fairly well. This will work better and this will change your coffee. So, thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.